We're here at the uh, National Agronomic Environmental Health and Safety School, and you made a, a major presentation. I mean, really, it was a, of interest to a lot of the guys in the room about tank inspection. And uh, can you give me uh, really what the, the major gist of what you were trying to explain to these guys? Well, the major gist of what we were trying to convey is that tanks do need to be inspected. We're holding corrosive products. They need to be set up on a either five-year, six-year, seven-year interval for inspection to make sure we're finding defects, defects in it so that we're not losing product out into our containment or out into the environment. There were um, also some comments about uh, new construction, and I was a little surprised about that. Uh, maybe you, there's some corners being cut, but uh, if uh, guys are up on what's going on, they can uh, have a better tank when they get a new construction, too. What we were trying to point out is that because of competitive nature out there in the industries, there are people who will try to cut corners and not follow API 650 specifications which is the international specification, recognized specification for building new tanks. And people will cut corners, so it's important for those that are involved or having a tank built to be aware that they can look at weld procedures, that they have a right to get welder certifications. They need to look at what the specs specifications are for the material that's in the tank. They have a right to look at what is the design parameters for the tank based on the specific gravity of the product that they're holding so that they know they have a strong enough tank to with withstand the product. Um, going back to the uh, inspection of the older tanks, was there is there one key thing that they need to remember about that also I mean you're making you're putting a little onus on the uh, guy putting up a new tank making sure it's done right what is probably the number one thing they have to think about when it comes to that inspection and and what they are getting from their inspector maybe well uh, the biggest thing I think for tank inspection is that we're looking for any defects or corrosion in welds that are going to weaken your tank or a loss of parent material of the steel that's going to cause that tank to be weaker for a full fill. In some cases we might have to derate the tank, the maximum fill, because we've had metal loss. It's important for owners to know where they're at on a regular basis, five, six, seven year where the tank is, what condition it's at, what we've visually seen as well as instrumentation tells us on thickness, well deterioration, what's happening in the heat affected zones of the tank, i.e. where the tank had been welded, whether it be the floor, the shell, or the roof. Is there any one area that seems to fail faster uh, and uh, be more of a problem? Uh, most of the time it's problems with corrosion on the floor weld seams, on lap seams, and usually in the uh, critical zone, which is the first six inches of the shell, is where the most problems are. But we're looking at the entire tank, but we have problems that will go all the way up on the shell as well.